Hey, this is Sam from barbershopquest.com and today I wanted to make a video about where do I begin? Where do I start? What is the next step, right? Now, at this point, you already established that you want to, um, you know, open your own barbershop, right? Entrepreneur want to open your own barbershop or your barber, you want to open your own barbershop, you know, or a salon, you know, whatever it is. And, um, you already know why you want to open your own proper shop you know and um for me one thing that really stood out like it was really exciting i mean when i think about it it's the fact that our head grows all the time right you know as they say two things are certain in life debt and taxes right the third thing is head the head grows every all the time right since you're born to when you will die I mean, you have to visit the, the barber shop either a week, maybe two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, you know, wherever, you know. So that was very inspiring to me, and um, that's what, I'm not so the main reason why I made the decision to be in the barber shop. Second reason is that um, culture, right? I mean, people want to fit in, people want to fit into society, and people want to, um, you know, stand out. So going to the barber shop or a salon or you know beauty place um kind of help you you know get a haircut that you want um or you know helps you you know solidify that you know even at work you know get haircut you know hairdo you know for your work work style um you know whatever it is average person you're a superstar you know you Whatever it is, you definitely need a haircut, right? And third reason that's very important also um is your identity, right? It speaks out. Like for me, for me, for instance, I have the mohawk, and this mohawk means a lot to me, right? And and it helps me stand out. You know, wherever I go, I'm very proud that I have the mohawk. And um, you know, people have very different styles for various reasons. Um. Because it, it, it kind of vibes to their personality and they make a statement right and so at this point you have identified you know whatever your reasons are if you're not sure you know find them make sure you find it um and um you know write them down you know because they'll, they'll really help you out and they'll go inspire you um a lot to do this right and so that's for me also i like um on the other side, I like working with people, right? And I mentioned earlier in my other video how I, work, I was a business owner before. And um, actually, I, I like dealing with working with teams and, um, you know, helping people grow. That's why, you know, learning from them as well. So, that, I mean, that's also one reason why I wanted to go into the barbershop industry, you know, to be able to work with teams and grow teams and also grow businesses and, and do that right i'm really passionate about that as an entrepreneur in the barbershop industry so i love doing that so whatever yours have you know make sure you write them down make sure you look at them why you want to go into this and why you want to do this right so once you have established that next thing is or you get to a point where you kind of start to figure out what do i you know what's the next step right who do i talk to right what should I focus on? What should I do? And all these things thoughts, you know, floating in your mind uh, of what to do next. What's the next step? And and for me, I kind of knew I needed to have capital, have su sufficient amount of money um, to do this, right? Um, I mean, so I don't know exactly what the things that I needed, you know, so to kind of create a budget as to how much money I need. You know, I also knew I needed a location you know, a good location and a couple of things, like right? good stuff to work with. And I needed to incorporate it, you know, things that are floating out, you know, but I needed like a definite list, right, of things that I could look at and, and kind of be, I'm kind of like an organization freak too. I like to be organized all the time. And um, sometimes when I don't have things written down, I kind of freak out a little bit. Um, and so I need some kind of direction, right? So I talked to some people um, 
I talked to a barber shop owner before and he, he gave me some insight and then I read to online and I come kind of came out with a list. Um in addition to things that I want for myself, I came out with a list, a business checklist of things that I should focus on, right? When you get ready to open a barber shop, right? So this is the list, right? So 10 things you need to focus on. Um the first thing is the location. But right? I need to figure out which location you're gonna open your barber shop, right? And all these these 10 things on the business checklist, I'm gonna make six different videos going into depth, right? So you don't have to worry about you know what okay location, so which location or what do I do? What do I do next? But um I'll go into details, a little more details, kind of get you started. And of course, you will find out more information on yourself based on what you want. But um, this will kind of give you like a grounds or a foundation to get you started, right? So you, you need to find a location, identify where you are or where you want to open your power shop. Next thing, you need to figure out, make a business plan, right? Um, this is huge. Don't make a grandiose business plan um, that, and then try to be make it perfect. Like for instance, all my flaws is I'm always trying to be perfect. Um, but at least get get like a skeleton business plan down, and that's that should incorporate the main um things like you know how how you want the business to grow or you know your projections and stuff like that you can put on the on the business the business um plan. Also, you wanna third thing is you wanna uh, you could write down incorporation right. So you wanna um you're gonna incorporate the business right, especially in America. <laughs> well should be everywhere but you need to incorporate a business right or you could be in um or it wouldn't be a business and you could be in um trouble legal trouble right so you need to you're gonna figure out how you gonna you know the documentation the legal registration business names and all those things right it's gonna be under the incorporation um fourth things you need to figure out your finances and accounting now this is huge finances and accounting um and um you know how much money you're gonna feel you're gonna need for the business um how you're gonna account for your money you know in the shop and things like that um that will fall under that category right and it's like raising capital and i make a whole video on raising capital so subscribe right um but i make a whole video on how to raise capital on how i raise capital how i raise capital specifically and um you know you could raise capital you know for this right and so the fourth thing is capital um 15 is operational how are you gonna operate the business right are you gonna hire people are you gonna rent the chairs are you gonna um be in the shop all the time how do you want employees to relate to each other or deal with each other all these things you need to start figuring out ahead of time and um you know at work ethics and things like how you know you want the daily day day by day operations of the business so you need to figure out those out and that should go fall under um number five which is operational 15 is the website um you know this day and time is like we are in a technology world right everything is basically going online and you know you need to figure out you know how you're gonna go about opening your website or you're gonna be on social networks basically that's what i mean so um that's the the um the sixth point you need to um look into seven point is risk risk management or get insurances and things like that I mean, that's also very very key eight point is revenue um this is actually one of the first things most people focus on but i uh, need to figure out um how much you want to make as a business profit wise right on a weekly basis two weeks three weeks or monthly yearly basis you need to figure out and calculate that you know so the others to go under um, revenue ninth thing is marketing and branding right now marketing is huge marketing is like the light <laughs> in the valley right <laughs> out of nowhere the light in the valley but what i mean is that marketing is so huge right nothing goes everything goes unnoticed if it's not marketed right and so if you're gonna open your mapper shop you need to figure out how you're gonna 
get your word across how are you going to get people coming to your baba shop um how are you going to promote yourself how are you going to brand yourself how are you going to stand out in the community or in the look i mean the location that you're going to be so branding and marketing um should be on should be a nice thing on the list and all those things should fall under category last thing is furniture and equipment <laughs> right so you get i mean you need, you need to figure out if you're an entrepreneur i mean if you're working if you are working the barber shop before i mean should this should come pretty relatively excuse me this should, should come relatively easy um figuring out which equipment and stuff you need in the barber shop you know i there are the barber shop owners that could help you out um you know recently i visited a sh you know, barber shop owner of mine and he gonna help me with um equipment and stuff but you could talk to somebody like that you know you might be willing to help you figure out how you're gonna which ones to get um in your shop right and what you need in your shop like the vision of the the shop the interior the exterior and stuff like that you know things that you need the shop so this is for another 10 category so once you have these thing right um i might put them on the end of the video the checklist so you could pause the video and watch it and you know write it down once you put this down you become more organized um you know which areas to focus on you cut back a lot of time and then um you 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 make more steps towards that open your own barber shop so um but on this list right on the go i would say the most important thing that i believe is on the list is capital right so you can have all these things and all these plans together but if you don't have any capital you cannot open the shop right this is huge and i'll make a whole video like i said before i'll make a whole video on capital on how i raise capital right so as i'm now right on the go the next thing right with women that you should start doing is find out how you're going to raise capital um to open your own barber shop right so this is um the video where, where to begin i definitely know it helped you out if you have any more questions you could definitely um shoot me an email i'll respond back to you um but um watch out for my next video um raising capital and um, until next time.